So boys and girls, in this lesson, we're gonna go ahead and convert within the metric system. In order to help us do that, I have here a chart with a mnemonic device that's going to help us remember the order of the metric system units in order from greatest to least. And that sentence is, King Hector died by drinking chocolate milk. King stands for kilo, Hector stands for hecto, die stands for deca, by stands for the three basic units within the metric system, and that's meters, liters, and grams. Drinking stands for deci, chocolate stands for centi, and milli uh, is for milk. Right now, you're probably wondering, how do we use this chart to convert within the metric system? Well, let's take a look at this problem right over here. We have eight decimal four, seven liters, and we have to change that or convert it to deciliters, centiliters, and milliliters. The first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and write down and the initials of each of the letters in the mnemonic sentence. So I'm going to go ahead and write down King Hector died by drinking chocolate milk. Also, um, a quick note, you're probably wondering, well, how do I know which D is, is which? And uh, deca and deci, it's easy to discern which one goes on which side because all the ones to the right of by end in I. So deci, centi, and milli. That's one way you can remember where they are placed. So now that we have the chart, let's go ahead and figure out how to convert from liters to deciliters, centiliters, and milliliters. First, let's write our problem exactly where it's stated that it belongs, in liters. So, I know that liters is a base unit because it's right here under by. So I'm gonna draw my arrow from the B down and I'm gonna write down eight decimal four seven. And I know that I'm going to deciliters first. So that means I'm gonna go all the way to right here, one space to the right. So that means I take my decimal from my original problem and I move it one space to the right. And so my new number would be 84 decimal seven, which means that there are 84.7 deciliters inside of 8.47 liters. Now let's go ahead and do the next problem. So now I have to convert the 8.47 liters to centiliters. Now I've written it down right over here under base or by because that's where liters is found, and I'm going to centiliters, so I'm going one, two spaces to the right this time. So I take my decimal and I move it one, two spaces to the right. So my new number would be 847, which means there are 847 centiliters inside of 8.47 liters. Let's go ahead and do the next one. Again, we start with the 8.47 under the by, because that's where liters is found, and now I'm going all the way to milli, so I'm going one, two, three spaces to the right. So my decimal is going to move one, two, three spaces to the right. And um, I see a problem here. There's an empty spot. If you ever have this happen, just fill it in with a zero. So my new number would be 8,470, which means that there are 8,470 milliliters instead of 8.47 liters. Let's take a look at the next problem. We have 9,824 decimeters, and we're going to change that to meters, decimeters, and hectometers. So we're going to start with decimeters, and so my number, my original number, will go right under this D. I'm going to write it down, 9,824. And now there's a problem. I don't know how to move the decimal because there isn't one on the screen, but we do know that all whole numbers have an invisible decimal to the right. Because if I write 4, that's the same as saying 4.0. So now that we know that, we're going to go ahead and move that decimal to meters. And I know that meters is just one space to the left of decimeters. So I'm going to go ahead and move that decimal over one spot. And it's going to go right there. And my new number will be 982.4. So that means that there are 982.4 meters inside of 9,824 decimeters. Okay, now let's go ahead and change 9,824 decimeters to decameters. Um, again, we write the original problem under where it starts, under the D for decimeters, and go ahead and don't forget that there's an invisible decimal to the right of every whole number, 
and move that decimal to where you need to go. Stack up. So we're going to go from here. One, two spaces to the left. So the decimal is going to move one, two spaces to the left. And it's going to go right in between the eight and the two. So my new number will be 98 decimal 24, which means that there are 98.24 decameters instead of 9,824 decimeters. Okay, the last conversion for this problem is we're going to move from decimeters all the way to hectometers. Mark your decimal to the right of the whole number and go ahead and move it to the right amount of spaces to the left or the right. And we're going to hecto, so we're going to go one, two, three spaces to the left. So I'm going to move my decimal one, two, three spaces to the left. And my new number will be nine decimal eight, two, four, which means there are 9.824 hectometers inside of 9,824 decimeters. In the next two problems, we're just going from one unit to another. So here we have four decigrams, and we're changing that to centigrams. So write the four exactly where it says it goes, and that's under decigrams. So we're going to go ahead and start right over here. I'm going to write the four right there, and I'm going to change it to centigrams. Remember, your decimal in a whole number is to the right, and I'm going to move one space to the right. So I'm going to take that decimal and move it one space to the right, and my new number will be, don't forget to fill in the empty space to the zero, 40. So there are 40 centigrams inside of four decigrams. Let's now go ahead and convert from hectograms to decagrams. We have 45 hectograms, so I put my 45 right under the H. Here's my 45. I write my invisible decimal to the right, and I'm going to go to deca. So that's one space to the right, which means I take my decimal and I move it one space to the right. Mark my dot. I fill in the empty spots with zero, so my new number is 450, which means that there are 450 decagrams inside of 45 hectograms. Let's go ahead and use this knowledge to compare two numbers. So here I have 32 hectograms being compared to 3.2 kilograms, and I have to make them both either be hectograms or kilograms. I'm going to go ahead and change the 32 hectograms to kilograms. So I'm going to put the 32 right under the H, and I'm going to mark my decimal to the right of the whole number, and I'm going to move that decimal one space to the left because that's where kilograms is found. So my new number will be 3.2 which means that there are 3.2 kilograms inside of 32 hectograms. So here I have 3.2 kilograms being compared to 3.2 kilograms. So the symbol that goes inside of here is equal to. Let's take a look at number six. Here we have six kilo kilometers being compared to 660 meters. So I start with my kilometers. I'm going to change that to meters. Uh, kilometers will go under the K, so I'm going to write 6 right here. My decimal is going to be to the right of the whole number, and I'm going to move that all the way down to meters, which is found under by. So 1, 2, 3 spaces to the right, 1, 2, 3 spaces to the right, and fill in all the empty slots with zeros, so my new number is going to be 6,000, which means that there are 6,000 meters inside of six kilometers. So obviously this is greater than 660, so this is a symbol that goes in there. All right, boys and girls, that was converting within the metric system. I hope you enjoyed the video.